Wandile Bozwana, a well-known businessman from Mutibi Stat near Kuruman in the northwest. His business empire included a big property portfolio comprising office complexes and residential estates. End of October 2015, his life was mercilessly terminated when unknown gunmen fired at his vehicle on the Hasfontein N1 off-ramp in Pretoria, an accident that left many distraught. I pray that you just give forth your peace. And I just want you to know that it's been a long day without your effort. He said to me, I know I'm going to be killed. I said, Bozi, why then don't you desist? We don't want the man who pulled the trigger, we want the one behind the trigger. Why did you kill this man? Did you kill him for political reasons? Did you kill him for business? We want to know that. Vusi Keke Matibela and his three co-accused, Sipo Huja, Robert Chupa and Bonginko Sikumalo, were arrested for Bozona's murder. In 2022, they were found guilty by the court. They were also convicted of the attempted murder of Bozwana's business partner, Mpobaloi. While not a shred of evidence was presented in court regarding the motive for his killing, the state relied mostly on circumstantial evidence, including cell phone records, to reach its verdict. The prosecution's case is that all four were at Santan City at the same time as Bozwana and that they followed his movements on the day he died. Started in 2017, marred by a series of delays and postponements. One of the main issues was that a legal representative of two of the accused reported ill on numerous occasions. The judge didn't take kind to this, while the state indicated its readiness to proceed with or without her. The defense is no. From the 21st of September, that today is a final day. Today is there no more, no more. Um, Postponements, it's final, this matter must proceed. Bozwana was at loggerheads with the Northwest government over debts owed to him at the time of his death. And to this day, his friends and business associates believe the masterminds are still on the loose. These are just mere foot soldiers. They should be principals, wherever their principals are. I have no doubt that they are chasing down their meals with wine and whiskey and smoking cigars. Until we have those people, there is no rest. This mogul's family has faced many tragedies. It lost Bozwana's twin brother, who was killed in 1997, and later their little brother, who was stabbed to death. In August last year, their mother was also murdered at her home in an apparent house robbery. For the family, we expect uh, maximum uh, uh, a penalty for the for the accused in this matter. Bozona's wife, Solufelo, presented a victim impact report to the Pretoria High Court, saying the fact that her husband's killers were behind bars were called comfort, as they've robbed her family of a person who meant everything to them. In, in custody at Hosimamburu Correctional Facilities, CMEX, where they are awaiting to know their fate on the 26th of January, when sentencing proceedings resume. SABC News, Pretoria.